Hey guys, welcome back to Develop Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up event summary or how to show event summary using a single line of shortcode. So this is a shortcode that requires or like accept multiple parameters. So I'm not gonna just show the shortcode in your screen, but instead we're gonna visit a knowledge base and we're gonna obtain the shortcode. Later on in this video, I'm gonna explain what the shortcode is and how it operates. So let's head towards our knowledge base and we're going to search for event summary. So this is the page we are looking for. And if we scroll down, we will see a block of shortcode that we're going to copy. And then we're going to create a new page. Let's name this page as event summary and we're going to paste the shortcode. So actually I copied two shortcode over here, as you can see from the knowledge base. So this is the full example of the shortcode and this is the shorter example. So the ID parameter is necessary for the shortcode and we will actually omit this one as well since we have the full example over here. For this example to work, you will read uh, event ID. I will show you how to obtain the event ID. Let's go to event manager and all events. We will see that event title is present over here. If we hover over there, we will see an ID tooltip with the event ID. So for this new year party event, we have event ID as of 345. So let's come over here and we're gonna pop in 345 in this ID. So that's the event identifier. We can even remove the ID parameter to show all the event summary in this page. But I'm coming on to that later on. Let's continue with the parameters. We have width set to 250 pixel. We have alignment and we have feature. And then we have limit. So this feature tag over here, what it does when it doesn't have a ID attribute assigned to the shortcode, it will show only the featured event on the website in the summary page. So if it's set to true, of course, and if it's set to false, it's the other way around. And if we remove this tag over here, that will show all the events. And the limit parameter over here helps us to limit the number of event summary shown on the page, right? So we're gonna go ahead and simply hit publish and we will modify the shortcode to view it in action. So let's open it a new tab. So as you can see, we have the event summary over here. So let's play with the parameters a little bit. Let's set width to 100% and you're gonna update that. Then we can reload. As you can see, the event summary is now 100%. I guess you get the basic idea. And then we can remove the ID and we're gonna set width to 33%. So we're gonna do one thing. We're gonna remove the feature tag over here and we increase the limit to 10. And we're gonna click on update. And then we will reload this page over here. And as you can see, after reloading the page, you will see the other events are popping up over here as well. So this is how you create an event summary page with a single line of shortcode. I explained it to you what it parameter does. We have a detailed explanation on the documentation as well. Feel free to visit that for in-depth written details. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something new about WP Event Manager. And by saying that, I'm Shadat saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.